Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I am introducing my version of makeup rehab and eyeshadow bank and a eyeshadow bank. So I believe makeup rehab was the brainchild of It's Just Steph and Emily from Emily and Max. I will have those two ladies linked down below and it's basically a point based system um, all around makeup empties. Mine is going to be all empties other than eyeshadow. Um, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So I kind of want to talk about why I'm doing this, how I'm doing this, and kind of goals and what you can expect going forward. So hopefully I don't cry because I really like this eye look. <laughs> um, I, in 27, the, like 2016, I went to bed one morning. I went to bed and woke up the next morning not fine. Spent October through July trying to figure out what was wrong with me. Got a diagnosis. Five years later, my neurologist is retiring. She calls me like a December 27th. I literally just had the IV removed from my arm and she's like, I misdiagnosed you. So 2022 was really spent trying to figure out, well, what is it? What's going on? What are we doing? And it led to a lot of shopping. Um, I think I had a makeup confessional and I had a huge amount of makeup come in every month of the year until we got to like August, September, which is really interesting to me because that's when the pain started and you figure I would be buying when I was in pain. I didn't buy as much, um, knock on wood, thank goodness. So my word of the year for 2023 is mindful. I know now that 2023 is going to be just as hard or worse than 2022 because now I have to find a new neurosurgeon. Um, there's other things that have started that I'm going to have to figure out. So 2023 is going to be a hard year. I am a person that either emotionally eats or emotionally shops. And I have I, ca I can't do either of those this year, you guys. I can't do either. So as far as emotionally shopping, um, my word of the year is mindful, as I mentioned. So I want to be mindful of what I'm bringing in and kind of mindful of what's going out. I am not doing another 5K. Jessica says she may do it next year. I don't know. <laughs> and I wasn't really going to do an empties challenge. I am doing my 100 colorful empties, but that's more for samples, etc. So I've been mulling this over, going back and forth if I wanted to do it, because you guys know I cannot do a no buy, low buy. And then I was like, well, maybe I want to challenge myself and just see if I can hold myself accountable. Because I was long-term fasting for a while. I didn't eat for 21 days. <laughs> and I was like, I tell Rob all the time, I was like, if I didn't eat for 21 days, I could do this and this and this. And he's like, yeah, just do it. So I saw a meme pop up the other day. I guess it's not really a meme, but it says... Transitioning from knowing better to consistently doing better is a journey in itself. And I feel like that's kind of what this project is going to be for me. I know better than to bring all this makeup in that may or may not get used, but I do it anyway. So I want to transition and be more mindful about what's coming in. So how that's going to work for me is I am going to have two separate kind of beauty banks. I'm going to have a beauty bank, which is like base products. So like blushes, bronzers, highlighters, uh, anything but eye products. And then uh, body care, hair care, skin care. So I am going to count everything in this rather than just makeup empties. That's because I didn't want three different empties um, videos. But also I have some problem areas that <laughs> outside of makeup. So how am I going to do this? I am going to do a five for one beauty bank and I am starting February 1st and I am starting with zero points. Um, and this is kind of where I went back and forth because I know a lot of people give themselves, you know, 10, 15, 35, 40 points to start the year and it gives them an opportunity to bring in 40, excuse me, 40 different products. And I, I, I needed a little tighter rein than that. So five full size products out equals one point in my beauty bank. Samples are gonna count as half a point. Um, I didn't feel like it was fair to have like a small perfume sample be as weighted as a um, full size product. I considered putting it a quarter and I'm like, that's too much math. <laughs> I don't want to fool around with that much math. Let me tell you, I don't want to. So five for one, um, and one, and we'll talk about what one point will get. 
and then samples will count as half a point. I do have a category that will be no buy. Actually, I have a couple categories that will be no buy. Um, the first is uh, foundations. I have 40-ish. I haven't done my inventory yet. I've been stalling on that because I really don't want to know. And you guys are like, Missy, you used up like 14 or 15 last year. Uh-huh. <laughs> I started 2022 with 48 foundations. I finished 15, and I think I'm still hovering around 40. So that is a red, I'm considering that a red category. I cannot bring, that, that one, that's a definite no buy. So we'll see how that goes. But again, I really want to challenge myself to not bringing anything in because I need to get use out of this. I'm painting nine, nine right now. So if I can just keep up that momentum, then this category, hopefully by the end of next year, 2024, will be something that's, you know, consolidated and, um, I lost the word, like, you know what I mean, We're concise, consolidated, all the words, <laughs> insert adjective, adverb here, so yeah, so foundation is an absolute no buy, concealers and setting sprays is going to be five for one, so I have to have five points to buy a concealer or a setting spray, and the reason why those are going to be lower than everything else is because those are categories that are low. So last year, again, I finished around 14 or 15 concealers. I have 13 or 14 concealers in my collection. So if I make it through those this year, then I'm going to need the opportunity to buy whatever, if I decide to buy one. Um, so yeah, so that, and then setting sprays, I think I'm down to like five or six. And I went through a ton of those last year too. So those are, will be the only two categories where it's not as expensive to buy a product. For everything else, so blushes, bronzers, highlighters, uh, face palettes, skincare, body care, it's gonna be 10 for one. So 10 points will get me one product. So if I wanted to get this face palette, which has three pans in it, this is gonna cost me 30 points. Um, so each pan counts as 10, each single counts as 10, and it doesn't matter if it's powder, liquid, or um, cream, 10 for one on those areas, because that is, that is a, um, ooh, my glamour orders here, <laughs> that is a problem category for me. Not so much bronzers and highlighters, but blushes. You guys, if you watched my inventory last year, I had 188. I don't have quite that many this year, but I still have a lot, and I brought more in in January, and that's why this is starting on February 1st. <laughs> A lot of why this is started on February first. So skincare, ten for one. Other than facial mist, I um, only have two, maybe three in my collection, and that's not a problem category for me. And then body care, mm -mm, ten for one, everything. And I, I really should say I'm on a on a no buy for Bath Bubby until I get down to like five, because I think I have twenty five. That's a lot. Um, if I run out of Tree Hut scrubs. I will be allowed to buy those. So Bath Bevy is a very much finer grain. It's one that I can use every day and it's also a soap. But Tree Hut is a much more coarse grain and it does a better job of slough, sloughing, sloughing the skin. Um, and this time of year, I am so dry, you guys. You do it. I've applied lotion six times today and I'm still dry. So those will kind of be the only, that's really the only asterisk. I don't need hair care. Hair care is not in including in like any kind of no buy or whatever. Um, the only thing I have on my radar is Moroccan oil. I have this, which I actually really love. I've been using this probably every day. Um, this is their color, this is protect and prevent. It's kind of like a leave-in conditioner. I really love it, love the smell. They have been tempting me with their shampoo and conditioner. So that might be the one thing I allow myself to buy or maybe ask for it for my birthday. So yeah, I, um, yeah, and speaking of birthday, gifts and declutters are not going to affect the bank. Um, especially if someone wants to send me, you know, their declutters or something like, or I get a birthday gift or something like that. That's not going to count against. This also means what I declutter. So if I declutter something, that doesn't go toward the beauty bank. I wanted to. <laughs> I don't, in PR too, I don't get a lot of PR. Like I, I get something from influencer maybe once a quarter. 
So I'm not bringing a lot of stuff in that way. And the same way with gifts. I don't know that anybody's decluttered. No, Danny had decluttered a few things to me. Maybe somebody else has. Jessica, yeah, okay. So um, yeah, I don't get it very often though. So I don't want those to count. And then April will be a, um, a free month. I know Alex did that with her birthday month. I'm gonna do that with my birthday month. I mean, I have to work within a budget. We're on a zero-based budget. I get an allowance every month. Rob gets an allowance every month. And I have to decide if that allowance is going to go to makeup, if it's going to planning, or if it's going to card making. <laughs> so um, I do get YouTube every other month or so. But I want to replace my Calyx, the cubed ones, with actual bookcases. So that's what all of that's going to go toward. So April will be within reason. I'm going to set a budget you know, either buy myself gifts or ask for gifts from Rob and go from there. So that's kind of, that's kind of that. I am bringing in a lifestyle component and YouTube has done really well at putting in chapters. So if you want to skip to the next chapter, I understand. Trigger warning, I'm going to be talking about weight loss, etc. So I have mentioned a few times that I may have a pretty significant back surgery this year. Um, that is currently put on hold because I have to find a new neuro neurosurgeon. That was a, if you want to hear more about that, you can check out my at home on Misty channel. So, but the last time I had back surgery, I think it was like 400 pounds. I lost a ton of weight and then my endocrinologist made me go back on insulin. So I ballooned back up and I just hurt my, happened to hurt my back and I had to have surgery. So I don't want to do that again. I would really like to be closer to like 200 pounds before I have surgery again. In order to do that, I need to lose about 100 pounds. So I've set that as a weight loss goal for 2023. Um, my issue has been I'm an emotional eater and I'm an emotional shopper. So I need to be mindful of both of those things. And that's why they're both included in this. So the way of eating that works best for me and works best for my blood sugar and my body is keto, carnivore, very low carb. Um, not only does it help with my blood sugars, but it also helps with my inflammation and keeps my inflammation low. It keeps me from having edema. Um, it's just the best way of eating for me. Now, I know it's not the best way of eating for anybody else. This is just me. My issue is <laughs> the last year and a month, I've allowed myself to emotionally eat whatever I've wanted and I'll do keto carnivore for a few days or a few weeks and then I'll want ice cream or I'll want chips and queso or I'll want something something else and then I'll go off plan and that keeps me off plan for a few weeks and it's a it's this cycle and I'm losing and gaining the same 25 pounds because of this cycle and I need to stop that my body reacts better to very low carb and that's how I know that I'm not only going to lose the weight, but I'm going to lose the inches too. I am currently smack dab in the middle of a size <laughs> in jeans. And if you're someone who struggles with that, you know how it is. It's like you put them on, you've got to suck in your gut. And then by the end of the day, Rob is helping me pull my pants up if I'm walking somewhere. So I, I don't like setting a number goal normally, but I felt like I needed something. I needed a marker to kind of work towards. So the lifestyle part of this is for every seven days that I eat low carb keto carnivore, I don't have, you know, any simple carbs that I shouldn't like any simple carbs like fries, bread, chips, those kinds of things. I can't have any rice, anything like that, anything that would drive up my blood sugar. For every seven days I stay on plan, I get a point. Initially, I was going to do this 30 days, but I thought I need to break it up. I need to break it up. I think once I get in the habit of not having it, I can bump that back. But for right now, every seven days that I stay on plan, I get one point and that one point goes into the beauty bank or the eyeshadow bank. I can put it in either one. Um, so let's talk about the eyeshadow bank. The eyeshadow, eyeshadow is going to be completely separate from the rest of it. Um, I think it was Becca Lynn Beauty last year. I saw, I don't know who started it, but I think I saw her video or I saw her thumbnail or something and I was like, that's a really good idea. But I didn't want to start it last year, um, number one, because I was buying all the things. But number two, I was just trying to hit as many pans as I could. This year I have a goal um, and I know how to, I know I can hit pan, like I know I can do it. 
So for the eyeshadow part of this, <laughs> this thing, every pan I hit in a palette is going to be one point. And every um, time I finish a shadow, which doesn't happen very often, but I do have a few that are finished goals, it's going to be two points. And it's one for one. So this is a 15 pan palette. If I want to buy a 15 pan palette, I have to have 15 points in my eyeshadow bank. So like I said, it's a one for one or a two for one, depending. Um, I, I know some people do like a whole palette will count as one point. I don't think that's going to work for me to curb anything. Like I, I don't think that'll curb anything for me. But I thought if I tied it in with the challenge of the year that that might help me um, It may help me. Like eyeshadows and blushes are like my biggest vice. Skincare too, but eyeshadow and blushes for sure. So as far as bringing in eyeshadow, like I mentioned, one for one. So if I want a 15 pin palette, I have to have 15 points in my bank. Neither of my banks are gonna start with any points in them and neither of my banks are gonna be allowed to go in the negative. That defeats the purpose of this for me. I've added another caveat to it. So in the shadows, whether they're singles or in palettes, are gonna be one for one. So one pan for one pan. If I want a mainstream palette, so meaning ColourPop, Huda Beauty, anything that's sold like in the Sephora or at Ulta, um, et cetera, that's gonna be two for one. And a, a lot of that is because I, there are other indie brands I want to try. Like, I love the look of that new Blend Bunny palette, the the Lure or whatever, the mermaid-looking palette. Um, I want to try Blend Bunny. I really want to try Davina. I want to get some more Terra Moons. Like, I want to put my focus on indie shadows. And so those are going to be one for one. And mainstream is going to be two for one. And that's because I find some... A, a lot of mainstream brands are just inferior to the formulas that are coming out from, you know, um, here. Hold on, mama, I'm almost done. <laughs> Anywho, like, the, like, yeah, so the only kind of mainstream brand I can think of right now that I would even want to purchase in 2023 I mean it's only January it would be the Huda Beauty palette at the end of the year but that's definitely going to depend on color story and I am actually my I'm trying to pan the entire Huda Beauty palette not like rose quartz I'm not trying to like finish it but I'm trying to hit pan in all of those so that is kind of where my head is as far as eyeshadows I just feel like yeah like I don't like I already know I don't like Natasha Denona formula I don't think that she may get me with a color story but I I don't know that she would color pop I just went through my color pop collection and probably threw away 50 eyeshadows yeah because they just we know how color pop is they just repeat they just package it in different in different packaging I will say that I've been intrigued by their new glitter formula and if that's something that I have my eye on maybe later in the year then um, then maybe I'll pick that up. But again, it's going to cost me two, dollars, two points. <sighs> so yeah, and like I said, the Huda Beauty. And those are really two, the only two mainstream brands. BH Cosmetics, but we don't know if BH Cosmetics is going to come back as BH Cosmetics because Makeup Revolution screwed the pooch. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I, I can't think of any other mainstream brands that I own. BH, got some J Cat, got a few Milani, but none of those are do I have my eyes on to repurchase. So I hope this made sense. <laughs> I hope it made sense. So for beauty and like beauty skincare base products, it's five in five out for one in. So five five empties for one point. And then you heard my 10 points for one product. For eyeshadows, it's a one for one, one pan, one pan. Unless I finish it, then you get two points for one pan. 
And then indies are gonna be a one for one and mainstream is gonna be a two for one. I'm adding in a lifestyle component every seven days that I stay on plan, I get one point. That point can either go in the eyeshadow bank or it can go in the beauty bank. It can go in either one. I am gonna to try to keep track of this. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a spreadsheet or what, but I will try to keep it updated in the description box down below. I will update this at the end of every month, so you won't see an update to this until the end of February. This is probably gonna go up before February 1st. Um, I may even post it like tomorrow, filming it on the 20th. Um, so I, so you know, you guys know what's coming. But um, this is starting February 1st, I'm starting with no points. And I started it February 1st because I've made some purchases. <laughs> oh, you guys, you're gonna see a haul at some point in my life. So yeah. I made some purchases and I, I mean, I probably have enough empties to pay for it, but I probably don't. So I just thought I'd just start fresh in February. So that's it. So hopefully that made sense. And if it didn't, I apologize. I did my best. <laughs> Anywho, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate you. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, let me know if you've done this. I've watched a ton of um, intros and I've tried to comment as I can. Um, if this is something that you're considering, let me know if you do an eyeshadow bank. And um, I just think it's, I think it's going to be well worth it for me. And again, I hopefully, I really have to kind of tone down that, that urge to spend when my emotions are all over the place. So um, this last time, what threw me into the spiral this time? Oh, flipping neurosurgeon. And the, and the PA at the room. Oops, sorry. So yeah, anyway, I have to start that. I have to stop that. One of my goals in January is to get a mammogram and find a therapist. I have been putting off finding a therapist because I know it's going to be tough and I just have not been in the mental health space to do that, but we're going to get there. So yeah, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, you can check out at home, my At Home with Missy channel, which I think is linked down below if you're interested in any of the health stuff. It's going to be a tough year, but I am a tough girl and I'm a Taurus and I can do it. All right, I'll see you guys next, next video. <laughs> Bye for now.